In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix some lighting issues that you get sometimes when working with ProBuilder. Like let's say I have this nice building. I'm actually going to make it an interior space by just selecting object and then flipping its normals. And then we go inside and we can see, oh no, I'm getting all these black shadows. And you've probably encountered this if you've worked with ProBuilder for even a couple of minutes. This is a really easy problem to fix. and I'm going to step you through how to get rid of these ugly shadows. So first of all, we need to go into the lighting menu. And I usually have this on by default. I have this, it's over here. If you don't have a lighting tab, let me close mine out for a second so I can show you how to turn it on. You can locate this underneath window, rendering, lighting. And it usually pops up somewhere as like a floating window but I like to dock it in with the inspector. It's a nice place to, to home it. Um, we can see a lot of nice information there. So how do we fix this? Go to the lighting tab. And first we want to click off baked global illumination. We don't want to turn this, we don't want to have this on because the next step, um, if you have this on, will kind of create a lag in fixing things. Um, each time you make an adjustment, this is gonna, it'll drive you crazy. So make sure you turn this off. We don't need this on. The next thing we need to turn on though is all the way down here where it says generate lighting. If you click this once, it'll automatically fix what's going on wrong with your scene, but we just wanna keep auto generate turned on. This will ensure that we don't ever have any lighting problems with working with ProBuilder in the future. As you can see, as soon as I generate that lighting, my lighting disappeared. I am getting some weirdness up here though. And this is just because of some shadow issues that we're having with this object. And I'm gonna sh also show you how to fix this. It's just another couple clicks. So I'm gonna go back to the inspector and then I'm gonna make sure I have my object selected. Over here, there's two ways we can fix this. Underneath the lighting, you see how we have cast shadows turned on and we have receive shadows turned on. If we turn off receive shadows, it will no longer show shadows like casted on it. Another way we could fix this is to turn cast shadows off so that our object is no longer casting a shadow. Um, let me quickly create another object too in the scene. I'm gonna actually keep, let's see, I'm gonna keep that one off, but keep receive shadows on. And let me go create another object in here. Let me first middle mouse click on the floor so that if I come to Pro Builder um, Shape Tool, it'll spawn it right there. And that's that's a perfectly okay size. So I'm just gonna click Build, close out. So this is where you have to kind of play with, do you wanna cast shadows? Do you wanna receive shadows? Like what order do you, you know, what do you want on everything? You might end up just wanting to turn it all off. So for instance, this is casting shadows and receiving shadows. Um, we could, you know, stop casting shadows. Maybe you also don't want it to receive shadows. If we did cast shadows on this, we kept this on, um, but we go back to the building and we turn off receive shadows, we won't get that. So some combination of this on all your different objects should kind of basically fix the lighting problem. We're not concerned too much about how it looks up here. Um, at this point, when you're working with ProBuilder, this is just a prototype where it's not a finished product, you would need to go in and start doing some more advanced lighting techniques if you did want nice lighting in here, but that's kind of outside the scope of this project. I just wanted to show you how to turn off those ugly black shadows and maybe help if you're having any kind of weird little shadows on any of your objects.